Uh, this is Elizabeth with Dandelion Soap, and we're talking about system recovery. Lemon balm. Lemon balm is overall an antifungal, antibacterial. Um, it feeds you, and it strengthens you, and it's really good for you. It's really good for bees. If you plant lemon balm and you're trying to protect the bees, especially the honeybees that we are really concerned about and um, disease is taking them over and killing them off, lemon balm is antiviral, antifungal. Now, it doesn't work like your antibacterial soap. Don't think of it like that where it's just like washing out all good bacteria. Lemon balm is antifungal. It basically identifies anything that's viral, uh, herpes simplex, uh, you know, where you have fever blisters of the mouth or mouth ulcers or, um, you know, stomach, things of that nature. Think of lemon balm. It's really, really excellent for that, and it will just uh, kill it off and heal it right away. Um, so lemon balm is a supercharged strength. It is like super energy. It's part of the mint family, and being part of the mint family also means this antistringent. So that means it naturally cleanses through your ability to uh, detoxify your system through secretion of the sweat glands, secretion of your kidneys through urination, and different things of that nature. So lemon balm, that I could, you could write a book on lemon balm, period. Lemon balm itself is like the most incredible. If you could only pick one herb, one herb to have uh, and grow. Now, bear in mind, lemon balm, uh, I would plant that if, if you were going to have the plant. Plant it somewhere where you don't care if it takes over. If you have an empty field, uh, a, a place where you want to... Um, Keep the residual of the land, you know, keep the to keep the runoff from running off and keep your ground um, and harden the, you know, kind of pull up the soil and strengthen it and uh, not lose your topsoil. But at the same time, feed the honeybees and feed all the nature's animals and butterflies. Oh, my gosh, hummingbirds. If you want to attract that kind of thing, plant lemon balm. But just know that lemon balm will take over like wildfire. It is a mint. It grows above, just underneath, just barely underneath the soil, and it runs. It's got a running root, and so basically you got one here. You can bank about three inches down, you're going to have another, and they just pop up. So lemon balm is beneficial to everybody, but if you could only pick one herb, I would tell you to pick lemon balm, and wherever you plant it, make sure that it can just run them up. It can just take over like wildfire, because it will. It will spread. And the great thing is the wildlife can eat it. It's very beneficial to them. It's very nutritious. And it is just jam-packed. You could write a book just on lemon balm. It is just like that much information. Um, 